här. Out you come there, new little like a good girl, and she's over there to the far side. I'll be able to walk away in here. You know, all right, pet dog, get up a shawl now, stay where you are. We'll have a quick look. I just want you to tuck your two knees good and tight together there, Martin. That's it. Put your two hands on top of your knees. Now, this is only going to take a second, lovey. We'll be in. <coughs> we'll be. <laughs> We'll be in and out, you won't even know that we were there at all, Pish. Okay, no, two seconds now, you won't even know that we were there at all, lovey. I just want you to roll over now, just roll over slightly. That's fat enough for getting in at your area, all right? And you didn't, did they give you a slice of toast this morning or anything, Martin? They didn't, did you? Are you sitting there long, lovey? You're there long enough, God loves you. Didn't you give us a bus earlier? You found your teeth? You did, isn't that great? <laughs> we won't have to mash it up later. I'm going to leave that with you now, Nolan. You can leave that under and they'll keep an eye on it. OK. And what I'll do is get Dr. Dobbin to look in on you straight away now. He'll be doing his rounds. OK, Martin. I'll just throw that over you there. Take the hands out from underneath. <laughs> so that's it. Don't you want Sister Bridget getting the wrong idea? Keep an eye on him now, Nolan. Don't let him wander off, won't you, like a good girl? He's gone very bad, Helen, isn't he? He's gone very shook. I'd say you didn't even recognise him above, did you, Pesh? I'd say you didn't even recognise him, the poor old devil. He's gone very down, gone downhill very fast. He's only wishes a fortnight, you know. That's all, he's gone downhill very fast. He came in here with a fine head of hair in him, you'd hardly recognise him above in the bed, the poor.